Wow, I like this dress, but my waist will look so broad in it. <laughs> Maybe I should put it back. Wait, I am going to share five dressing tricks to make your waist look smaller, even if it is not everybody. Like every woman is shaped differently and I want you to embrace it. But that hourglass shape makes every woman look and feel more feminine. So here comes my first trick to make your waist look smaller. Welcome to Blush With Me. So trick number one is to aim for the smallest part of your waist. Have you noticed that our waist expands as we age? That fat storage of our body moves towards the midsection and your lower belly. Now, instead of hiding your body behind those frumpy loose tops, here is my styling suggestion to make your waist look smaller. So create that waist for yourself at the slimmest part to give that illusion of an hourglass figure. You could do this with a top or a jacket which has either like an elastic band or a drawstring around the waistline or even by adding a high waist belt. Just make sure that it does not hit the widest part of your tummy, not here, here. A woman's body is slimmest right here, right below her ribs and right above her belly button, like this area. Even a woman who has a more straight body and lacks those natural curves can look more curvaceous by wearing high waist belt on most of her dresses or those loose tops. Now look for body shapers that have this silicone lining up here. This helps your body shaper to stay put and they don't roll off on the sides. A lot of body shapers successfully hide the rolls on the sides, but very few can literally make your lower belly look slimmer. I will link all my favorite body shaper suggestions in the description below. If you are looking to make these corrections to the way you have been dressing, then I'm sure a lot of you would want to go shopping for some of these new outfits. The bonus tip in today's video is not just the dressing tips, but also where you can buy most of these outfits and get widest range of brands at the best prices. Recently, I came across Karma. So Karma used to be known as Shop Tagger. They are always expanding their capabilities and their new name represents good karma that they provide by helping you shop smart. In just the last couple of weeks, I shopped just three things on Karma and I have saved over $130. So this skirt from Ann Taylor was about $120 and I got this for just $41. Please do click on the link below to check this out yourself. Just download Karma's Chrome extension on your computer. Now I shop quite a bit from some of my selective favorite brands like Ann Taylor, a few other brands are Banana Republic, Mango, and few others. Now a lot of these brands that you like may send you newsletters about their current sale and yet the piece that you wanted may not necessarily be on sale. But with Karma, you get notification via mail or mobile push when that item that you had saved goes on sale, it has a relevant coupon or it comes back in stock. I get an alert about the exact product that I was interested in. Karma has hundreds of stores all in one place. Again, it's a huge time saver. You can visit your favorite stores. Like for me, for instance, it's not just clothes, but also my camera gear, interior decoration pieces, and so much more. So Karma is very simple. When you're on Karma, you can click the button or slider when you see an item that you would like to save. You can move and drag the button up and down for your convenience. Take a look at my list on Karma where the products get saved. You can organize them into multiple wish lists so you can shop more mindfully, especially during these times. Trust me, my impulsive shopping has reduced so much because I don't waste my time browsing through the whole website and getting carried away buying unnecessary items impulsively. Karma scans the web for coupon codes and applies at checkout automatically. This is a very special feature. If you use Karma on your computer, the Chrome extension is a must. I'm repeating again. This is again such a time saver. I do not waste time looking for coupon codes. Half the time, the coupon codes that I find myself by searching on the internet have mostly expired or they don't work. 
That's not it. You can earn cash via PayPal when you shop from select retail partners on Karma. There is absolutely no reason why you would not use Karma. Check Karma's Chrome extension link below in the description. Thank you very much Karma for sponsoring this video and helping me save a lot of money shopping. So to my previous tricks, add this next tip. When you wear puffy sleeves or tops with structured shoulders like this one, now this adds width to your shoulders. This makes your waist look smaller. This use of symmetry is great to confuse the eyes. So avoid any kind of clingy tops and tight fitted bottoms altogether. Clingy tops will make your shoulders look smaller. They will also make them appear more droopy on the sides. And overall, it's really not going to create any shape on your body. Notice broad shoulders make my waist look slimmer and also the skirt is fitted. It's not clinging. Clinging and fitted are both very different. Listen to this next tactic carefully because this is going to be a game changer. If you want to hide your belly, then don't hide your belly at all. But instead, make sure that everyone focuses on something different, a different part of you. So when you are looking for tops to hide your tummy, you could be doing this by ensuring that you have a flattering neckline. Or if you have a nice long neck, then enhance it by wearing jewelry that actually elongates your neck and the attention is drawn to that part of your body. It's a good way to take the focus off your belly and put it elsewhere. You could choose cold shoulder or off shoulder tops to place the attention on the parts of your body that you like and away from the parts that you're not very keen on. I actually recorded my whole look. Here comes tip number five. If you want to make your waist look smaller, but at the same time you want to look stylish and highlight your strengths, it is best not to wear very tight tops. This will accentuate every fat bubble you have and draw attention away from you and your fabulous clothes. Now I said avoid. I never said you don't have to ever wear it at all. If you must wear it, then wear it with a high skirt or high waisted jeans that remember I said is fitted right at the slimmest part of your waist. Skirts that have a nice wide band on the slimmest part of your waist will make your waist look smaller, but guess what? These skirts open up right below this slimmest part of your waist, which means they hide everything inside that you don't want to draw attention to. Another option for fitted tops is to choose tops that have some kind of draping or ruching on the sides. Any tops that drape or have ruching on the sides will cling to your body but they will not highlight all the rolls. For some reason they just hold you beautifully. Try these tricks and within minutes you will look more shapely whatever your body size or shape be. If you want more tips for different body types then please let me know what your concern is in the comments below. I am Parmita Katkar, Chicago-based image coach, but I am available online to help you, to guide you to become the best version of yourself with my one-on-one -on -one sessions. This is my website. The information to reach my team and to work with me is all in the description below. Your image is a part of your personal brand and what impression you want to leave behind. If you're yourself bored of the way you have looked or felt for last many years, then it is time to upgrade your mindset, your personal style, your makeup, your body language, your social media image, and so much more. I look forward to working with you. These are all my social media handles. Please look me up and follow me on Instagram, Facebook fan page, my Amazon storefront, and my Amazon, Amazon live streams. They'll all be linked below. So if you want to shop any of my looks or suggestions, then definitely follow my Amazon storefront. I will see you next week. Until then, you can practice everything you have learned in today's session. But all of that after you hit that subscribe button, that like button, share, and comment. This is me, Parmita. I hope you continue to blush with me.